All right, so we're back on floor four again. This time we are running the Traitor Melee variant of the Thor team. Now, I know a lot of you probably have not been farming the Rat Demonic Beast, so you might have steered away from using this team because you don't have Traitor Melee for like. Well, uh, you'll be happy to know that I don't have it either. And we're going to try this team and see how well we can do without the Relic. Uh, I can't show that I don't have the Relic, but I promise you, we'll, we'll see that uh, in game. So, the gears this time around, I took off literally almost everything that was crit defense related and just went with normal defenses in the middle because I feel like I wasn't taking that much damage when I was doing the full unknown team. Granted, we did have Nanashi, so we did have a lot of defense buffs, but I think Meg is probably the weakest defense wise. So, I left crit defense on her substats, but I still have crit damage as the uh, the main stat there. And then, again, obviously, everybody's on attack crit except the Ancient. And she used our tank, but the taunt and the red Tarmiel there, she's got normal HP defense. And uh, the card set's still going to be the Deer set because obviously it's not a mono race team, and that is going to be our best set. So, let's go ahead and jump into it. Alright, so we're starting up phase one. Just like we've mentioned before in the last video, the idea here is going to be saving up three rank two attacks. And since we're using Trader Melee, what we want to keep in mind is using five single targets as fast as we possibly can, so that we can keep up his uh, maximum amount of great buffs as early as possible. So, we're kind of just burning cards here, right? Got this Amplify coming out, build up the lightning damage pool for Thor, and obviously we're going to want to try to keep up the end shield. So, uh, we actually have two rank twos. Wait, is that three? Oh, that is three. Hold up. We got a double, double Thor and a Melee. Okay, pretty dope. But that's a lot of cards, right? Um, those are all pretty big damage cards. Um, that kind of leaves us with not a lot of wiggle room, I feel like. So I'm going to space out these amps, actually. We, we, we need the, the card draw. We need the space to uh, deal some damage, right? Like, I could let three rank threes, rank twos, I should say, sit in my hand. Plus this heal. That's going to cuck our draw for a while, so... Uh, I'm confident we can get another rank 2, which we did, in fact, do with this heal. The heal or the stance would count. It does not have to be an attack. However, we're probably going to want to burn both of these heals right here, right? Because we've got the block skill, um, and we have to worry about co-destruction, which scales based off debuffs. So if we double heal, the only debuff we'll have is a bleed on Deanne, which we can work with. And... That will probably be not a lot of damage from uh, the bird, if that's the case, which we'll see here in a second. Plus, he's ulting, so, I mean, we definitely want the double heal, because I believe she's giving us an all stat increase buff on top of the heal, so. I mean, why not? Why not take it, right? So, we'll see. Here's co-destruction. Like, no damage. More damage on Meg than it was in Dan, funny enough. Uh, the ult doesn't really do anything either, so we're chilling. And did we get another rank 2? We did, we did. So we're actually all set to uh, transition here. Um, does that kill? Uh, I could also get Deanna, actually. Would that be worth... Could move and use the taunt. It's the same skills that get used, right? Surely... Surely the Thor will... Oh. 400k from the Megal. Alright, I wasn't expecting that. But I guess that'll work. So now we have to use our rank 2s, right? So we're going to go ahead and do that. And that's going to pop... What is it? Three crit chance downs? Gray buffs on him? Which will get removed and then we'll have our uh, shield. Which allows us to... Uh... I think that's pretty much how we are able to deal damage on this phase. Because as you can see, the damage is really not there. Right? It's a significant drop than it was compared to Phase 1, so... We'll get Harry's Fulgans Protection. Uh, the crit chance actually is still there. His crit chance down. I think we get decent damage as long as we have that shield up. And then obviously it's a free shield, right? So why not try to keep that all as active as possible? And at any point, if we lose the shield on all of our units, again, we can just triple rank 2 and we'll get the shield back, so... We're going to go ahead and stance again. We'll Thor ult, um, and then we'll have Thunder God's Judgment, which we can get a proc off of on her rank 2 here. And then we could Deanne ult. It's not going to be a lot of damage. And by extension, it's going to be an even worse heal, because it's 
you know, quell, and then it's also, I believe we have a 160 ant, so that's not fun. We do about a little over 50% HP, so we're looking good. The AoE's going to miss. Love that. And we're still obviously attacking into Deanne. Red Tarm Grace not kicking in for the debuff, but uh, we're still getting the heals, which is nice. Uh, we got a couple heals also. Uh, I think since we're pretty much below half HP on Bird, we want to start setting up for Phase 3, which is the Immortality Phase. And that is circumvented by having a lot of Amplify attacks and Thor attacks. So we're going to see what we can do here. Try not to burn as much... Uh, amps and stuff as we can. I think on this next phase he probably breaks shield on everybody. Which I don't think he has yet. Oh no, he did. Oh, actually does the shield wear off? The shield might have wore off. Uh, so I guess we can just look at getting it back here. That's probably why our damage sucked. He gets his phase 2 ult off. Uh, nothing big there. Uh, our stance is still kicking in. Holding out strong. So I think what we'll do is we will triple rank 2 again. And then we could just, I don't know, throw this Megalt out, just cause. And this should be a full heal for us, we're not missing a lot of HP. Crit chance down is going to start coming up again. And uh, we don't have Thor cards, which sucks. We might only be transitioning with one amp attack here, depending on this draw. Okay, we got two Thor cards. Um, we might actually need the Thor cards to kill. Or I could melee ult, because I don't need the melee ult for anything yet. So I do want to get it back on phase 4, so I think we'll worry about that on the next phase. And I think what we can do is probably restance, get rid of all the Deanne attacks, make sure our attack related buff is still up, which it is on everybody. Uh, the trainer melee ult probably kills. So we got our shield, so it is 6 6 as well, so that should be good damage. Oh my gosh, <laughs> our single target is so bad. 544k, okay, you love to see it, so that was pretty decent. Okay, so now we have our immortality. Good. And we actually have almost a whole hand of amp slash Thor cards. We're missing like three, which is huge, right? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to spam our amp attacks first. I'll uh, get rid of the Deanna and ult. And then every time you do attack on phase 3, if you can, end the attack rotation with Thor's card, Thor attack. Every time you use any attack, he does have the damage dealt increase gray buff. Even if you are attacking with Amplify. So Amplify removes immortality, and then only Thor's attacks are what remove damage dealt increase stacks. So, as you see, he's only left with one right now. I think we're at, what, eight? Eight or seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, six, yeah. Okay. Uh, this is actually a pretty solid hand. We have literally full... I'm going to do a full rotation of Thor and Amplify attacks, so that will probably put Bird down to zero. And uh, leave him with four ammos. Yes. No, three. Oh. That's perfect. Okay, so I think this is the fastest you can do phase 3, right? Is in 3 turns. He has 10 immortality stacks, you get 12 attacks in 3 turns, or 8 in 2 turns. So, yeah. 3 turning this is dope. Obviously, you don't want to take any longer than 5. I think on the 5th turn, he does the attack seal. And then you're cooked. Unless you can push for ults and then kill with your ults. But, this team doesn't have an amplify ult. And then, uh... You pretty much just have to cycle Thor ult uh, like a million times in order to beat it at that point. So, uh, And then even if you could, I believe he ult locks after the attack lock, so it's really irrelevant. If you get attacks, you'll just reset. But we're able to push through there, and now we're on phase four. Oh my god, is that the revive? Ugh, it's not even Overcome Crisis. So the revive sucks. Um, we had Overcome Crisis in the previous video, so that's when you get him to 20% HP, and then you one-shot him. Otherwise, he full heals on an all-stat buff. In this case, um, we can get him low, and he's going to revive at 50% HP, so we have to deal with a revive no matter what. So we're going to get our shield back up. We're going to attack with Thor. Now, once you start doing damage, I think below 70%, he gets the defense related up, right? And then, is it 60%? 
Yeah, below 60%, he gets uh, the HP related up, right? So the regeneration rate kicks in, and then he gets above... Oh, he's below 70, but above 60. Okay. So above 60, he gets the defense related. Below 60, he gets the HP related. Right? So he regens up, and he gets above that threshold. Um, I think what we want to do here is... We'll wait till he buffs, and then we'll try to kill. So I'm going to try to... We definitely want to heal here, because we've got a lot of bleeds. We also do have Graceful Gear's Wrath, and I believe once that gets to 7 stacks, we lose. Because you just die. It's like 500k insta damage, no matter what. So we're going to move some cards around. We're going to get Thor's ult. We're going to hold on to Meli's ult, and then we have 3 Thor cards to back us up with damage. Now because we stance, we get a refresh in the attack related buff from Deanne. And we should have like... I don't want to say maximum potential, because we're missing all stat increases from Meg Relic. But we're in a pretty good spot. Okay, so we're going to we're gonna DN. Sorry, no, we're going to melee, Thor. No, we're just going to melee and then triple Thor, actually. So that removes the buffs, right? So we had basic stat buff and evasion. Oh my god, a million? Over a million damage, that's crazy. And then it looks like below 30% HP, he has an attack-related uh, increase. So we hit the uh, hit the revive. Thor's attacks are coming in clutch with Thunder God's Judgment. That's giving us that extra damage. Uh, he gets his ult down. Even Phase Four ult doesn't look too crazy. Uh, I mean, it's definitely decent damage. Almost half HP to everybody. That AOE sucks. And this is actually the last turn. I think we're at what is it seven? Right? I think we're at max stacks of Graceful Gears Graceful Gears Wrath. So. Uh, we literally have to kill here, or we just die. And he's at, looks like 600k, and we have, I mean, three Thor cards and a Megalt, so this should do it. We'll see what this damage looks like. I don't think we have anything, s do we have damage stored up on her passive? Probably a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, only two cards needed. Okay. So, it's definitely doable. Uh, but it is kind of copium, because you do have to rely on multiple Meg heals to get your cleanses. But that is going to be the Trader Melee team without his relic. If you guys like the drop a thumb, maybe sub if you're into that, and I'll see you in the next one.